Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a recapture form to your Contact Form 7 forms. Now, if you've had a Contact Form 7 for a while, you may know that you used to use really simple CAPTCHA as the, the recommended method to add CAPTCHAs to Contact Form 7. That has now changed, and the recommended method is recapture because the old method had a bunch of limitations. The good news is you don't need to add another plugin. The bad news is you do have to go get something called API keys from Google. Google is the creator of reCAPTCHA, and reCAPTCHA actually does some really cool stuff that I'm going to quickly show you, and then I will show you how to implement that on your website. So here we are on the WordPress dashboard. To get to the reCAPTCHA section, if you have Contact Form 7 installed already, which you should if you're watching this video, you should have a Contact Form link right here. If you don't have Contact Form 7 installed yet, I've got a link below this video to show you how to do that and how to configure it. So we're going to assume you already have it installed and you have a Contact Form, maybe not creative, but at least you have an idea for a Contact Form. So when we hover over Contact, there's a link called Integration. We click on that. On the page that loads, you'll see there's only one option for integration right now, and that is reCAPTCHA. And there's a handy link up here where we can go to get the CAPTCHA API keys, which we're going to get right now. And then when we have them, we'll click on Configure Keys to enter them into our website. So let's click on this link. I'm going to open it in a new tab. I'm going to quickly tell you about the cool stuff that reCAPTCHA does that you probably didn't know. So the new version of reCAPTCHA, often users will only see a form like this that you see here, where there's a checkbox that says, I'm not a robot. They don't actually have to enter a CAPTCHA. That's because Google has a, a risk assessment algorithm, I think they call it, to determine whether you are likely to be a human or a robot. And if Google isn't sure, then it will show a CAPTCHA. Whereas if it's really sure that you are human, it will just show a checkbox. And if we scroll down to the very bottom of this page, you can read through this information if you want. But at the very bottom, we've got the cool stuff that reCAPTCHA does. So on this, um, I just click the forward button on the slideshow. Basically what this is saying is stuff that Google has inside of Street View and inside of their Maps app that they're not entirely sure if it's correct, they will create a CAPTCHA from that and have a human solve that CAPTCHA on a website and then in that, then using that method make their Google Maps information more precise. They're not going to ask you for locations of stuff, but just the, the spelling of things and stuff like that. Another thing it does, apparently, I don't quite know how it does it, but they have CAPTCHAs designed on or based on complex questions that they're having trouble figuring out. And they package those into images that can be solved by real humans, as CAPTCHAs are, and use that to improve artificial intelligence. And the last thing it does is Google is digitizing. I think they plan to digitize all the books in the world, which is not an easy thing. But they use computers to read the books. And if there are words that the computer is unsure about or that's likely not correct, they create recaptchas from those words, which are then solved by humans and then used to improve the quality of their digitized books. So that's some pretty cool stuff. You may not have known that recaptcha does. It's not just about solving a random set of characters on a website anymore. It's actually helping do stuff, which is pretty cool. So when we're done lollygagging, we can click on Get reCAPTCHA in the top right corner. And if you don't have a Google account yet, you'll have to create one or sign into your Google account. It's really simple to do. It's just a couple fields they ask for. And then you get a Google account that you can sign in to get this. So what we want to do is fill out this short form field here. And there's three fields, and there's, they're explained. So we have the label field, and that gives an example. For example, your domain name .com colon comments page. So I'm going to put in wpphd.com colon contact form. And this is used for, say, in the future, if you make many reCAPTCHA forms, this will help you identify which form exactly this reCAPTCHA API that you're creating is for. So then we have our, on the next line we have domains. So I'm just putting on a one domain. And then we have owners, where we enter the owner email address. And I'm just gonna type in bjorn at 
wplearninglab.com. And that is not the email address I'm currently signing to Google with, so we'll see if this will let me do that. Let me click on register. And that works, so you can enter any email address you want in there. And on this page here, there's a bunch of things that they give you. We only need to focus on this first one called keys, the site key and the secret key. But if you want to do some more advanced integration that doesn't involve a plugin, but you do it manually, you'd want to check out the client side integration and server side integration. But all we need is the site key and the secret key. If we hop back to our website and we click on the configure keys button, we see there's a field for site key, there's a field for secret key. So I'm just going to hop back and forth a few times and copy these guys. All right, we've got them both in there now. And when I click save, we should get a you're good to go message of some kind. Settings saved, no errors generated, we're good. There's now a reset keys button, which in the future, if you want to reset your keys, you can do that by clicking that button. And now the next step is adding a simple short code to your contact form that will allow that recapture to be inserted into the form. So let's do that right now. I'm going to head on over to the contact forms area for contact form seven, which you do by going to contact and then clicking on contact forms. And I'm going to choose just one of these two randomly. You'd want to choose the one obviously you want to add the captcha to. And we click into the form, usually right above the send button is where you see captures. They're usually the very last thing before you can submit a form. And contact form seven, because they integrate so well with reCAPTCHA, has a nice little button right here called reCAPTCHA. You just click on that and you choose a couple settings. Choose the theme for the little reCAPTCHA widget, either light or dark. You make it either normal size or compact. You can add an ID and a class for custom CSS if you want to, you don't have to. And I'm just gonna keep the settings as they are. Click on insert tag. And we add this little short code right here Yours may appear different if you had different settings selected on yours. And then we can click on save either at the bottom or on the top right. And it's done. We have reCAPTCHA on our form. And let's go see what that looks like. So this form I know is on a demo page, a contact form seven demo page I've created. You will know where your form is obviously. So if we click on view for the contact form seven demo, we will see the contact form. And if we scroll to the very bottom above the send button, we see this box like we saw on the Google reCAPTCHA homepage. I'm not a robot with a checkbox. So according to Google's risk assessment algorithm, it believes that I'm not a robot, so it's not making me fill out a CAPTCHA. So all I would have to do is check this box as I just did. It processes it. Okay, we're good to go. We're allowed to send that through. So if you're receiving a lot of spam comments or spam submissions through your forms, by embedding this reCAPTCHA option, you should be seeing a lot less spam coming through. Even though, like when I first saw this little checkbox that says, I'm not a robot, I thought, any robot can be programmed to check that. But what I didn't understand at the time was that not everybody's shown that. Google is using their super smart computers to figure out who's human, who's not. And so only people who it believes are human, get that checkbox. Everybody else will get a CAPTCHA, which is then apparently used to solve all the world's problems on the back end, which is pretty cool. So I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share it on social media, subscribe to YouTube channel so you can get more videos just like this, and check out wplearninglab.com where I write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.